We had these mopeds stored up here. We're pulling them down now. Damn. Now we pulled down the uh, the Jawa. This thing is too disgusting to even go near. Before anything, it's gonna have to be washed. It probably hasn't been washed in like 30 years. Look how it, the dirt is caked up on this. Yeah. Let's give this thing a, a well needed cleaning before anything else. Oh, it's dried up, it cleaned up rather nicely. I think it's safe to work on. You can actually see the uh, uh, speedometer and odometer now. So, I mean, it's got a patina to it, but yeah. Okay, very nice, we'll continue. So I got the coil all installed back in. I'm just waiting to install the spark plug wire. As soon as Jason finds where he left it. I see a little bit of rust on the surface area here. Probably be uh, cleaned up a bit. Could take care of that would be helpful it's probably been sitting there on those contacts for a while but it's not binding and that's good this side I've taken off the tins and it allows me to see this valve here that I can't say on YouTube because YouTube and uh, exposure to the carburetor here I probably can't say exposure it's terrible and I feel some good compression in the cylinder and I'll probably just spin that a couple times. I'll probably also clean that off there as well. Just get that moving a little bit on the side. And why not? We finally found the parts that Jason lost. Thank you. Yeah, whatever. Finally found the cable and the cover. I put them back on. And oh. I'm not taking a car back yet. We're going to go on a leap of faith here because we have the valve that I can't say on YouTube. And we're going to put some gas in and we're just going to see what happens. Go ahead, put them in there. I hate these stupid things. Yeah, this... Look at that red Amsoil Dominator. That's good stuff. We shouldn't need too much for this saw. Uh... Well, you're gonna ride this home, aren't you? That would be great. You do nothing. Because? No, because then I have to edit it out. I am with my assistant chandelier and we're working on the Jawa. Say hello. I said and we, hello. we have spark but no ignition. We have taken out the carburetor and now we're going to troubleshoot it and see why there is no gas getting to uh, the cylinder. I have taken out the spark plug during testing of the ignition and the spark plug is dry. You can't you can't go like that. <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, we, she's new to this, it's okay. We're gonna take apart the carburetor, let's have a look. We, right there. We can take apart the carb right right here. <laughs> there we go. Chandler has cleaned out the entire carburetor. Uh, she has cleaned all of the jets and needles. You've done a fantastic job. Thanks, bud. Yeah, outstanding. I couldn't have done it better myself. The float is working good. She has adequately tested the float. You're good at this. This is, yeah. this is your second calling. And now we're going to reassemble it, if I may. May I reassemble it? Yeah. Okay, we'll reassemble it. Carburetor's completed. We're throwing it back in the bike. Well, uh, Chandler's gonna throw it back in the bike. Yep. Go ahead to the bike. Put it in. <laughs> she didn't actually do it. She's like, she watches. I'm just here for moral support. Moral support. Hold on here. Yeah. Starting. We're getting there. Look at the excitement. 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 Here until. Let me take the choke off. That's choke is off. It's good. Take it for a ride. Well, I have to adjust the jet, the needle seat. Choke it back, man. Hold on. With the fuel? It's getting gas. Sure? Yeah. I'm done. You might get it wrong. We're back to it, and this time we got it up on the table. And oh, it's so much easier to work. What what we found was um, that there is good ignition. This ignition coil is still working. 
and ran it uh, on some ether with a dry plug, though momentarily in, in small intervals, with just a little bit of gasoline mixed with ether. After I had drained the tank so no new gas was coming in, I think the bowl is a bit high, and others would agree with me, and it's flooding because looking in the engine, it's just filled with gas. So using ether, able to blow out the engine, blew all of it out of the back of the pipe. I'm gonna take this carburetor off yet again and check the bowl height, make sure everything was done correctly the first time, get back to it. I have a suspicious feeling now that the uh, seal that shuts the float is no longer any good. We're gonna have to reinvestigate this. It's an interesting setup in here. We're gonna, we're gonna pull this piece out and clean it up, see what's going on. This piece seems to uh, be tight on full closure. I'm uh, going to hit it with some carb cleaner, just clean this piece out and put it back in. We're going to focus on the float, uh, make sure that there are no pinhole leaks in the float. We're going to do a, a, a test to make sure. Then we're going to reassemble this, maybe do a float adjustment, see what's what. So this is back in and cleaned and it doesn't leak, so we're going to move on to the float. The float is floating as it should. Uh, I didn't expect it to be a problem, but we're going to let it sit for a while. Now we got the bubble test going on, and, and we don't see any bubbles forming. We're going to let that sit for a while, too. We've also removed the pet beep censored for YouTube. Can't say that word either. But I've removed it, and oh, man, it's nasty. So I'm going to wash this and probably spray out the bottom of the tank because it's open, and I could do that. Cleaned out the inside of this. I hope this is good enough to stop it from leaking. We're, we're going to find out when we reassemble it. It surely can't be any worse than it was. Taking this opportunity to remove the tank, given what was found in the pet, beep, censored for YouTube. Uh, we're just gonna wash it out, just like hit it with a hose and flush it. The tank is empty, there's nothing in it. Clean it out, we're gonna let it dry, heat it in the sun. It is Florida after all. And when it's completely dry, we'll reinstall it, splash a little two-stroke in there, you know, so it doesn't rust and that's it. Now we'll leave the tank laying out in the hot sun. We have uh, uh, flushed it out, right? Yep. Say yep louder so they can hear you on YouTube. Yeah. Say it loud, say it proud. Yes! There we go. Leave it out to dry. We'll put it back on the bike and all that crud is gone now. No, no longer gets sucked in the fuel filter. Yay! Yay. So realize that the installation and deinstallation carb is a lot easier with the gas tank removed. Look at that. This is like a million miles of room to work here. Connected now. Check the throttle. There's the throttle. There's the choke release. Let's try out the choke. Put the choke on. And we'll turn the throttle. Very good. Little side thing I had going on, I cleaned this little section of the frame and then I applied two coats of wax. I've turned on the, the light on my camera so it can be seen. Uh, shines up really nicely. I use good stuff. I use turtle wax. Look at that. Fuel filter was nasty. I cleaned it out. I flushed it with gas. I know I'm a terrible person because I flushed a fuel filter, but but I mean, come on, right? So it's, it's nice and clean now. Um, got new hose as well. I just cut those slices as brand new, placing the old pieces. And uh, took off the exhaust pipe to make sure there wasn't any blockages. Uh, there was a bit of an exhaust leak right there, as you can see. And it's gonna shore that up, put the exhaust back on, and it was not blocked indeed. So we discovered that if you run carb cleaner or ether directly down the throat of the carburetor, we discovered if you run carb cleaner or ether directly down the throat of the carburetor, the bike does run. Uh, started thinking it could be the crank seals. So what, what we did was uh, remove the carburetor and started filling the entire engine with... I found it! I found it! <laughs> entire engine with... ATF, Jason had on a whim said... Crank seals, and that's why um, it is not producing the vacuum for the carburetor, therefore not sucking it in gasoline. <laughs> and so I said, okay, let's do that. And so I started filling it up with a funnel, just literally filling this engine full of ATF, right? Because I said, you know, even if it doesn't leak, at least it may expand the seals if there's a slight leak, if it's, you know, way up top. And sure enough, sure enough, take a look right here. We have ATF dripping out the side of the engine onto the ground. Uh, the crank seals are leaking, so it's not generating the vacuum that's required to suck gasoline. Carbon's not working, and that's why the engine's not working. So 
we're going to leave the ATF in, you know, for the week and see if the seals expand. If they don't expand, we're going to have to open up the engine and, you know, fix, replace those seals, whatever. I'm going to attempt to find on the Jawa website if they have the uh, crank seals for this. So I'm going to need to know what type of motor it was based on the VIN. In an effort to document this, uh, we're seeing a 1976 and uh, the stamp next to it shows eight in uh, Roman numerals. And the VIN is a 141-470, okay?